Hello, my name is Paul Carco, and I'm a technical marketing engineer here at Cisco, and I focus on the AnyConnect client. So with Cisco AnyConnect 4.2, AnyConnect now extends visibility to the endpoint with the new network visibility module, or NVM. NVM is designed to provide greater network visibility into user and endpoints behavior, but in a lightweight manner. So NVM acts as an endpoint flow agent extending the standard IP fix protocol with a small set of high value endpoint context data. The goal is to give IT administrators insight into five key visibility categories, device, user, application, destination, and location. And before I move on to a demo, I want to touch on some system requirements. NVM is available on both Mac, OS X, and Windows. NVM can be provisioned by the ASA or ISC just like any other module. NVM is a new AnyConnect module with its own XML profile. This profile instructs AnyConnect where to send the data, when to collect the data, and what if any data should be anonymized. If deploying via the ASA, you can use ASDM to create and deploy this profile. If using ISC client provisioning, you'll need to use the standalone profile editor to create the profile and upload it as a resource to the client provisioning portal in ISC. Okay, so on to the demo now. I'm going to start off showing the NVM analytics dashboard that we created for this demo. And this dashboard highlights the five key visibility categories that I spoke of earlier. Devices, users, applications, destinations, and locations. And we'll return here shortly. Okay, so I'm on a Windows 10 machine now. And alongside the core VPN module, I also have the NAM and ICE posture module installed. What you'll notice is that NVM does not add a tile to the UI. However, if you click on the About button and look under Installed Modules, you'll see that Network Visibility is in fact installed. The use case for this demo is an on-premise use case. NVM can work on-premise, off-premise, over VPN, including VPN with split tiling. So as you see, AnyConnect's Trusted Network Detect capabilities show that we're on a trusted network, so NVM is working now. And I'll talk more about Trusted Network Detection in just a bit. But I want to now show you the NVM profile configured for this demo using the standalone profile editor. And we have the IP address of the IPFIX collector, and it could be a fully qualified domain name. We have the listening port of this collector. Now if privacy is a concern, you have the option to anonymize some of the data from the user. And the last thing you need to configure is the collector mode. Here you can disable NVM. You could choose to collect while only on a trusted network or collect while only on an untrusted network, or collect on all networks, and that's how we have it configured for this demo. Okay, okay I'm bringing up the VPN profile. So trusted network detection is very important to NVM. NVM will only export data to the collector when any connect can detect that it's on a trusted network. So here in the core VPN profile, we have to ensure that under the automatic VPN policy, that we have the trusted DNS domains and DNS servers configured. Okay, so let's generate some flows and take a look at the data. I'm just going to wait for ICE to finish reassessing our posture. Okay, we're compliant now. We're going to launch Chrome. We're going to visit YouTube to try to get some traffic coming in. And we'll launch this video. And we'll go back to the dashboard and take a look at the data. All right, so back on the dashboard here, and you can see already highlighted, is there is a destination that's dominating the invites under destinations, and that's googlevideo.com or YouTube. So we can drill down, and I'll show you the data behind this. And we'll zoom in. So keep in mind the five key visibility categories that I spoke of before. We have the device known, as, known by the UDID. We can see that the user was employee one. The application was Chrome. This is known by the process name. We can see the destination was Google Video or YouTube. And the source domain was securitydemo.net, which is the on-premise domain for this demo. Not highlighted, but of interest here is that alongside the process name, we have a SHA-256 hash for that process. We can also see that the parent process was explorer.exe. And we also have the SHA-256 hash for this process. There's another report I want to show you that we configured for this demo. It's a user view. Okay, so what we did here is we configured a report 
to give us the top 15 destination domains reached by a user. So we're going to look at employee one since we just looked at a flow that employee one was responsible for. And we'll drill down. And as you can see here, very easy to look at, we have the top 15 domains or destinations accessed by this user. Okay, so this concludes the demo. I hope this demonstration clarifies how Cisco AnyConnect Network Visibility Module can give you detailed visibility into user and endpoint behavior in your extended enterprise. And we thank you for your time.